Lawrence Ferlinghetti, the San Francisco poet, publisher and bookseller who played a leading role in West Coast literary history as a champion of beat writer Allen Ginsberg and co-founder of the legendary City Lights bookstore, has died at his Bay Area home. Ferlin Getty died Monday evening, according to Star Sutherland, a friend who is working on a documentary on the fabled bookstore. The cause was interstitial lung disease, his son Lorenzo told the Associated Press. Ferlin Getty was 101. Ferlin Getty and a partner launched City Lights as the country's first all-paperback bookstore in 1953, when Ginsberg, Jack Kerouac and other East Coast Beats began adding their woolly voices to the literary renaissance unfolding in San Francisco. The bookshop, renowned for its bohemian atmosphere and vast collections of international poetry, fiction, progressive political journals and magazines, soon spawned a literary press, which in 1956 published Ginsberg's controversial epic poem, Howl. Ferlin Getty stood trial for selling Howl in a precedent-setting First Amendment case, in which the judge found that Ginsberg's profanity-laced work had redeeming social significance and therefore was not obscene. The victory paved the way for publication of other controversial works of literature, including D. H. Lawrence's Lady Chatterley's Lover and Henry Miller's Tropic of Cancer. Ferlin Getty and Ginsberg became famous, as did City Lights, still going strong in San Francisco's North Beach district more than a half century later. In the decades since, Ferlin Getty established himself as a prolific poet with strong populist underpinnings. The author of more than 30 books, he is best known for A Coney Island of the Mind, a collection of poems that has sold one million copies since it was first published in 1958 by New Directions. San Francisco's first poet laureate in 1998, Ferlin Getty was an advocate of poetry as an oral tradition who read his own work with artful vigor. Lawrence started probably hundreds of thousands of people reading poetry. They read his poetry first, and then they went on to read more poetry, poet, essayist and beat figure Michael McClure, who called Ferlin Getty a master poet, told the San Francisco Chronicle in 2003. Tall, lean and neatly bearded, Ferlin Getty was the opposite of flamboyant. Not known for public drunkenness like beat novelist Kerouac or public nudity like Ginsberg, he swam daily, biked to work at City Lights and outlived most of the major figures of the beat fraternity. Kerouac died in 1969 at 47, and Ginsberg and novelist William S. Burroughs died in 1997 at 70 and 83, respectively. Academic critics, dismissing Ferlin Getty's work as too topical, paid him scant attention. Perhaps because he channeled a good deal of energy into bookselling, he also was sometimes portrayed as peripheral to the literary movement he promoted. He seemed to agree with the characterization, calling himself the guy tending the store.